Hey guys, Rico Canero here, and today I'd like to discuss with you a book called Understanding Annaberg, uh, a great little book written by uh, David W. Knight. Uh, it's about 50 pages long, but it's packed full with lots of good information about the Annaberg plantation on uh, the island of St. John. Uh, it, the island uh, has been in cultivation for, for many years. St. Thomas was the first starting in the 1600s. And then right around 1718 or so, St. John and uh, an initial set of about eight or nine planters started to subdividing the property and planting. And there was a gentleman named Isaac um, Constantine that originally was the owner of the uh, Annaberg Plantation. And he kept it for a number of years. It was then passed on to uh, Miss Anna DeWint uh, Hegler and her family. And upon her passing, uh, it was renamed uh, Anna Berg Plantation in her honor, uh, with the name Anna being her first name, Berg being Hill, because it was situated all on the mountainside. Uh, one of the things that I just love about the Anna Berg Plantation every time I visit is the fact that it, it's, it's beautifully kept. Uh, it's on the mountainside. Uh, you can see the ocean off to the side. Um, no cars passing by. It's very quiet, very serene, uh, almost a spiritual uh, type uh, thing. Now, one of the things that I found really fascinating in the book is an inventory that was done in uh, 1809 in which it lists 65 Negro houses. And that will give you some idea just how large uh, this particular plantation was and how much production it must have produced, uh, whether it be uh, sugarcane or cotton or, or what have you. Uh, today, uh, the, the property is under the um, uh, National Park System, so they're doing a pretty good job of keeping it uh, well taken care of for uh, locals to visit, for tourists to visit, to learn more about our past and our history. Um, again, understanding Annaberg, great read.